Hello guys, in this video we'll tell you how to fix the backward typing in Windows 10 or 11. But before we start the video guys, if you have any computer or software related problems, please feel free to contact us by visiting our website and using the submit a problem button from there. And comment down below on our videos about your problem and don't worry, we'll make a video for you to resolve it. Number 1. Restart your computer. For this, save your any ongoing work. Click on the start button and from there select the power icon and just simply choose the restart option. Number 2. Update your keyboard drivers. For this, press the window key plus R to open the run box. Then in the run box, type devmgmt.msc and click OK to open the device manager. Then in the device manager window, just expand the keyboard section. And from there, right click on the keyboard driver and choose uninstall driver. Make sure to uncheck the delete the driver software for this device option in the pop-up if it shows up. Then go to the top menu and from there under the actions tab select scan for hardware changes. The driver should appear back in the list. If it does not, don't worry. Just simply restart the computer and it'll appear back. After that, again right click on your keyboard driver and choose subject driver. But this time select search automatically for drivers. Window will automatically scan for available driver updates and will download them. After that, just simply again restart your PC to apply the changes. Number 3. Check for software conflict. For this, press Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape or alternatively you can also press Ctrl plus Alt plus Delete and select Task Manager. Then in the Task Manager window, look for any applications that are running unnecessarily. Then from there, click on the application and select End Task to close it. Once you have closed all the applications, start shutting down your PC again. Number 4. Run the Keyboard Troubleshooter. For this, open Settings by pressing Window plus I key together. Then from there, select the System tab and click on the Troubleshoot option. And from there, click on Additional Troubleshoots. Then, click on Run in front of the Keyboard Troubleshooter option. Number 5. Windows Update. For this, press the Window plus I key again to open the Windows Settings. Then from there, click on Update and Security. In the Update and Security window, click on Windows Update in the left hand side menu. Then from there, click on Check for Update and let Windows search for any available updates and will automatically download them. After the updates are installed, just simply restart your computer to apply the changes. Number 6. Check Keyboard Language Settings. For this, again press Windows plus I key to open the window settings. Then from there, navigate to Time and Language. And from there, select Language option. After that, ensure that the correct language is set as the default. If not, just simply add the correct language and set it as default. Number 7. Change the keyboard typing direction. For this, you can press Ctrl plus right shift to type right to left. Alternatively, you can also press Ctrl plus left shift to type left to right. Number 8. Run a full antivirus scan. For this, type Windows Security in the Windows search bar and select Windows Security from the results. Then after that, in the Windows Security window, click on Virus and Threat Protection. Then under Current Threat, click on Quick Scan to perform a basic scan. But for a more comprehensive scan, you can also choose Full Scan. And after that, if any threats are detected, Windows Defender will provide option to remove or quarantine them. Number 9. Perform a Clean Boot. For this, press the window plus R key to open the run box. Then in the run box, type MSC or NFIG and press enter to open the system configuration window. Then from there, go to the services tab. Make sure to check the box that says hide all Microsoft services from there. Then after that, click the disable all button. Next, go to the startup tab and click on open task manager. Then in the task manager window, Disable all the startup programs by right clicking on each entry and selecting disable option. After that, close the task manager and go back to the system configuration window. Then from there, click OK and then just simply restart the computer. Number 10. Test with on-screen keyboard. For this, press window, press Ctrl plus O to open the on-screen keyboard. Then from there, type some text and check if the issue persists. 
If not, it may indicate a problem with your physical keyboard. So this was it for the video guys. We hope this video helped you solve your problem. If it did, then make sure that you give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. And if it did not, then don't worry. Just comment down below the issue and we'll try to figure out what is wrong with your specific case. Thank you for watching.